Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the condenser fan motor on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a 5 16 nut driver, and maybe a pair of Nina Lowe's pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need access to the back of the refrigerator. So we'll have to pull it forward far enough that we can access that, which will mean we'll have to disconnect the power. And if your model has an ice maker or a water dispenser, we'll need to turn off the water supply and then disconnect the inlet hose. Now that we have access to the back of the refrigerator, we next need to remove this rear cover. On this model, they are using 5 16 hex head screws to secure that. And just tilt that panel back and lift it away from the bottom and then set that aside. Now the condenser fan motor is located on the end of the condenser. It's held in place with some screws onto this plastic bracket. So first thing we'll need to do is remove the screw that is closest to the edge that secures it to this bracket mounted to that condenser. That's a quarter inch hex head screw. We want to use caution while working around the dryer and the capillary tube that we don't kink these in any manner at all. We may have to move them on occasion but just be very gentle with those. Right, next we'll disconnect the wire harness. Just release that little locking tab. separate it. Now our next step will be to pull that whole assembly out through this opening and it does require a little bit of maneuvering around the condenser and the bracket as well as the tubing and again make sure that we don't bend this tubing any more than we have to and just take note that that capillary tube runs across the top of this opening right up close to the base of the cabinet. We'll begin by just pulling it a little bit forward and that will disengage the other end of a metal bracket that we'll see later. Now we need to pull this whole assembly out through this opening. There's a very tight fit. So be very cautious around this small copper capillary tube. You do not want to damage that in any manner at all. These little tabs on the bottom of that bracket, you can bend those up as far as you need to. Once we have that assembly free, we can go ahead and change out the motor. Now with the assembly pulled out, we'll next want to just thread that wire harness through these little tabs. Next, we'll want to pull the fan blade off of that motor. You should be able to just grasp that and pull straight up on it. Just set that aside for now. Now next, we'll remove these two quarter inch screws that secure the top motor mounting bracket. Now 
off the screws removed. Just let that motor mount off. And just take note of where this little bumper fits. It will be towards the long straight side towards the back of the refrigerator. Then lift the motor away from the rear bracket. Make sure that the rubber bushing stays in place. Discard the old motor. I'm just going to set that new one into that bushing. Make sure that the front bushing is intact with the mounting bracket. Slide that over the motor. Line up the two screw holes and then reinstall those retaining screws. Tighten those bolts securely. And then we'll reroute the wire harness. Go through that opening. You may need to lift up that foam seal. Enough to fit it through that gap. And then we'll just wrap it around those little tabs. Keep it from getting caught in the fan blades. And now we're ready to put the fan blade back on. Just press it down onto the shaft. And when properly installed, it should be just about flush with the end. Now before we install the assembly, we'll just take note of this little metal tab that is actually part of that rear mounting bracket. That's going to fit into a slot on the bracket that is attached to the front of the condenser. And we'll need to make sure that we engage that first and that will hold it in place. So we'll begin by carefully pushing it through that opening until we get it roughly in position. So when reinstalling this condenser fan motor assembly, we do need to make sure that we engage this metal tab on that end bracket with the back side of the condenser mounting bracket. And again, we'll use caution when working around this tubing. Once we have it in the opening, we can then just tilt that forward and we'll be able to look down through this back side and we'll see that mounting bracket and the tab on the end of it so that we can line that up and fit it into place. Just carefully pivot it back and then reinstall the retaining screw.
Next, we'll reconnect that wire harness. pinched. Check for free movement of the fan blade. And just make sure as well that this foam seal on top of the mounting bracket is tucked between the cabinet and the bracket. So now we just need to put the back panel back on. So we're going to tuck that lower edge of it in behind the metal base and then secure it with the screws. Now it is important that we have that back panel in place as it affects the proper airflow across that condenser. So take care that we don't damage it and be sure to secure it to the cabinet. Now with the back panel secure, we're ready to put the refrigerator back into the cabinet so that we can reconnect the water supply and the power. We're now ready to reconnect the water supply and the power and our repair is complete.